Welcome back guys, I trust you are fine. Now, somewhere around the 26th of September 2022, four people, namely an upcoming musician from Nigeria called Chop Boy, his producer called B. Rollins, his producer's girlfriend called Blessing, and then a DJ called Gwesi were butchered mercilessly in the recording studio of the producer and Abuja would wake up to a gruesome sight. Investigations are still ongoing, but this true crime story brings you the details of what has been uncovered so far as far as the reports circulating indicate. This is the true crime story of the murder or butchering specifically of the popular upcoming Nigerian musician Chop Boy and his three other friends. If you are ready for this ride, buckle up and let's go. The killing of Chop Boy came as a very big surprise to the entire country of Nigeria and the music industry as a whole. Chop Boy didn't have any visible enemies or enemies that would have been noticed as having a beef with him. Chop Boy was more of the, the cool, calm, musician type, multi-talented and seemed to be loved by all. So then the question was triggered, who would want this guy dead? But according to reports circulating, it's possible, highly possible for that matter, that Chop Boy may just have been a victim of circumstance. The suspicion out there is that Chop Boy is probably unfortunate and was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Or some people say at the right place for the killers at the right time. Or at the wrong place at the right time depending on who is looking at it. Be it the bad guys or the people who love and miss him. It is alleged that although all four of them were killed, the actual target for this crime might have been his producer and maybe his girlfriend. This is because reports indicate that Chop Boy's brother has come out to indicate that Chop Boy had told him some days back that his producer B. Rollins had informed him that he was getting multiple threats about his girlfriend and that the threats were telling him to leave her alone. These things are yet to be substantiated with evidence from investigations, but that is the story out there at this moment, although investigations are still continuing. So the theory out there right now is that there's a high probability that his producer, B. Rollins, and his girlfriend were the main targets of this deadly butchering attack. But unfortunately for Chop Boy, he happened to be in the same studio with his producer and his girlfriend at the time. And also, unfortunately, for the DJ, that's the Dick's jockey, Wesley, he will happen to also be there. And it seems these four people had met to work on some music. And the unfortunate happened. But there are some mind boggling questions. One, how come nobody heard? There was even a security guy in the house. And this security guy is saying allegedly that he saw it was normal for people to be trooping into the house because of the studio inside the house. So he saw guys come in and guys leave. He didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I don't know what to believe, but I think if you're a security guy, something should have tipped you off. Something may seem out of the ordinary. That's my thinking, but well, people can also be smart when they want to commit crimes, so you never know. It's possible that the perpetrators of this crime could be friends or known people to the victims. That's how come they might have been able to come that closely to them without any alarms being raised. Then again, these are all speculations out there. We are waiting for the investigation to come out with the facts 
after they are found. Another question which is very mind-boggling is, these were four people, specifically three young, energetic, strong guys and one lady. Who were these attackers and what power did they have to the extent that they can be able to overpower these four people without they screaming for help or fighting back and butcher them mercilessly like they did. There are reports that there were shouts coming from the room and neighbors are saying that they thought that it was shouts of a celebration happening. That is also very odd to me. I think that if somebody is shouting for help, definitely that is very distinct from somebody who is shouting out of excitement. The reports indicate the neighbors said they heard somebody or people shouting happy birthday. It's unclear whether these were deliberate shouts from the killers to mask the cries for help from these four victims. The whole story is a bit murky and like I said, investigations are still ongoing and I'm sure the facts will unfold in the days coming up. But as it stands now, these four guys have been brutally murdered. The main person, popular person here is Chop Boy, promising upcoming Nigerian musician, followed by his producer B. Rollins and his producer's girlfriend, Blessing, and then a DJ called Gwezi. Now, Chop Boy obviously was at his producer's house alongside these guys, and the attack happened. So it seems like Chop Boy and the producer, sorry, and the DJ, Gwezi, were collateral damage. They got, they got caught up in the crossfire. Probably they were killed in addition because the assailants saw that if they left them, definitely they will be crucial victims or crucial witnesses, sorry, in identifying them. So then they had to go. That is unfortunate though. B. Rowling, the producer, was reportedly found with his head broken and his brain on the floor. So you could see that this crime seemed very, very personal. The attack happened at his house, inside his own mini recording studio. Now his girlfriend, Blessing, who is said to be a student of Unicross, was hacked to death. She reportedly had her five, she, sorry, she reportedly had five cuts on her head when she was found and her hand had also been chopped off. And reports are indicating that their fingers were cut and it was used to write a sentence with their blood that I told you to leave her alone. So it shows that this crime is personal and I'm sure probably also being fooled by a lot of rage and passion. But I'm choosing to have some faith in the Nigerian police to bring the accomplices to book. That seems to be all around us. Walk and tread cautiously as you go through the day. Stay safe out there and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.